Nice to meet you. And you're Adam? Yep. All right, where are you from, Adam? I'm from Liverpool. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And who are you with today? Me mum and me dad. All right. And what does mum do? She's a nurse. Yeah. In Broadgreen Hospital. Right. And what about dad? Me dad is a policeman. Is he? Mm-hmm. And here's something for all the women. <laughs> you better watch out for me dad, because every time he comes across a women driver, he toots his own at them. <laughs> This is nice for public relations, isn't it? Dad, Dad, why does your dad toot the horn at the, at the women drivers? Because he says they shouldn't be allowed on the road. <laughs> he just toots the horn at them and says, get off the road. Now, how do you know this? Because every time I'm in the car, he calls each one a gimp. <laughs> Does your dad not want to stay in the force much longer? So, once he'll end his career, I know that for sure. Yeah, I've got a feeling it might be from tonight. Yeah. He's probably just joking, is he? I think so. You think what? That he'll end his career, but I'm not sure. Oh, he'll end his career? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What, 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 what's your dad's driving like? Mad. Absolute madness on motorways. And he's a policeman? Yes. And once, my dad dinted the police car and he never even told the boss. Your dad's got a tick all of a sudden. He, put, he nearly put a hole in the petrol tank. How did he do that? He was going too fast and he skidded around the corner. Oh, right. That's how mad he is. Yeah. Does he ever go faster than the speed limit? Um, once. Once. And he's once been through a red light. I'm terrified to get onto the nurse. She's probably done, a done about five people in. Has your dad ever caught anybody? Is your dad a traffic policeman? Or is he, like, on the beat? Is he a walking policeman? You must be joking. <laughs> Hopefully. I wish he wasn't. Well, I wish he wasn't a policeman. Why? Ooh, he just got chucked out of Bruce. What? He, he just got chucked out of his work. What work? His police work. Did he? Yeah. Because some just... woman called Polly told the, his boss about things about him that weren't true. <laughs> What? What did, what did Polly say? I don't know. It's just me dad. He tells an awful lot of lies. I'm not too sure we can hear this at all. Do, would, you, would you like a shovel? <laughs> my mum just can't win over me dad. She just can't win. Have you had a word with her about it? No, I haven't. Well, what would you like to say to her, if you could say, you I'd know? just like to say to women, watch out. What, for policemen that go too fast? And, and if you've got a brand new car, use your old one. <laughs> you might just go and live in the cemetery. So kneel upon a gravestone and pray. <laughs> That's all you do. You kneel on the and you pray, do you? And what do you pray for? Thank God for making me. <laughs> Have you got any girlfriends? One or two. Yeah. Do you like girls? Not a lot. No. Girls are bossier than boys. Well, your mum doesn't seem as bossy as your dad, does she? My dad always bosses my mum around. It's, you know, it's a different way in our house, uh, as I can put it that way. Yeah. It's different. In what way? Well, my mum bosses my dad around, and sometimes my dad bosses my mum around. Yeah. It, it works different ways in our house. <laughs> We're totally different. Mm-hmm. Uh, why is it different in your house to anybody else's? Because all kids, they're just absolutely crazy over me. 
Let me five minutes. Knock, 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 knock. Who's that? Jack. Jack, Jack Randall's pain. Um, Every it? time I answer the door, there's no one there. When I look down, the dad can give me a key for Is he very small, Jack? He's about half the size of that staircase. <laughs> I mean, half the size of that stair. Half the size of a stair? Yeah. He even plays knock and run. How can he play knock and run? He can't reach the knocker. Well, the knocker, the knockers, you knock on the letterbox. Yeah, I know you or do. Or sometimes on the door and your knuckles get worn out. Mm. So what are you thinking of doing when you grow up? You're going to move out and leave mum and dad to it? Or are you going to sort them out? I mean, something's got to be sorted, isn't it? They've, I mean... I know, I know you. They've got the divorce once. You are? They've got the divorce once. Did they? Mm -hmm. what, what happened then? They just sorted out the private life and got back together. <laughs> My mum, for instance, she's in the bath. Right. Yeah. And I come in, read her story, I go down, my dad says, get to bed. And, for instance, I just go up to my mum and read another story. In simple. the bathroom? Yeah, simple as that. And your mum's in the bath while you're reading this? Yeah, but she likes it. <laughs> what story are you reading her? I'm, I'm reading it uh, all sorts. Right, it's OK. But the one thing she doesn't like is... <laughs> what? Pigeons. Yeah. Why doesn't she like pigeons? Because they just poo all over. <laughs> I thought they were in the book. I know, but no, they're not book. She says the vermin. <laughs> and for instance, she calls them Mickey's. She says, "What are all these Mickey's doing in London?" <laughs> she hates going to. She hates going to London because there's so many pigeons. She calls them Mickeys? Yeah. I'm a Mickey. If you were a Mickey, you'd be a pigeon, wouldn't you? <laughs> Mind you, you are a Mickey because that's sure for Michael, isn't it? Simple as that. I'm so glad for these uh, weekly meetings we have because I think, you know, it's best that the family talk it out, isn't it? I'm just going to talk to a couple of the others. Is that all right with you, Adam? Mm, it's fine. If you have any thoughts or anything, well, I'll probably come back and, you know, we'll carry on the discussion because at least you're getting it out, and, out of your system, aren't you? Okay. Is that what you needed to do, isn't it? This is the last advice to all of you. <laughs> Watch out for me, Dad.